Welcome in to day 23. You know the routine. Get your 30 minutes of mild to moderate activity in, get your meals in, get your supplements, get your stretching in, and grow. The topic of discussion in today's video is going to be what to do when you're traveling a lot or on the road to stay intact with your meal plan. So how do you eat healthy and get in enough protein while you're on the road? I actually had this question asked to me by one of my clients and we worked together to put a perfect nutrition plan that made it easy and convenient for him to get his meals in, get in his protein and his macronutrients while he was traveling on the road and out of town for a few days at a business conference. So if your job requires a lot of traveling or if you just find yourself out of town a lot and trying to stay on track with your meal plan, these tips and tricks can be really beneficial to you. Tip number one, try and keep it simple. And this is something that I do if I am traveling as long as I'm not dieting down for a competition. I'll break my meal plan up into three meals with two snacks in between breakfast and lunch and then in between lunch and dinner. So I'm eating five times a day, three main meals with two snacks in between. Tip number two, if you are not packing and bringing the food with you, make sure you make a trip to the local grocery store, Walmart, Kroger, Publix, whatever it may be, as soon as you get set up in your hotel room or the place where you're going to be staying out of town. If you don't get this set up and prepared early, then you're much more likely to skip meals and then get super hungry later in the day and stop for an unhealthy fast food option. Now, if you have an Airbnb or the place where you're traveling to has access to a full kitchen, that is an oven, stovetop, all of that, obviously your choices are going to be much more expansive. In fact, you can probably stay very similar plan to what you were doing in the first place. However, I'm going to cue this tip into assuming that a person's staying at a hotel room where you have access to a microwave and a refrigerator and freezer, and that's about it. So tip number three, we have arrived at the grocery store and we're gonna start by shopping for our easy proteins. So a lot of grocery stores have a deli section or area where you can get rotisserie chicken or already cooked and prepared chicken that you can then store in the refrigerator and heat up later in the microwave or eat fresh as soon as you get home. Rotisserie chickens or deli chicken is a great option. Oftentimes in the deli section, you can also find pre-peeled, vacuum-sealed, hard-boiled eggs, which is an easy source of protein. Deli meats, as long as you're aiming for the natural kind, are also a good option. Now, I know there's a lot of controversy around that, and there's not really a super natural deli meat. However, as long as you aim for that option, you have much less nitrates to worry about, and it is a good source of protein and easy to pack along the road or make sandwiches with. Some other easy sources of protein to pick up and store at your hotel room include beef jerky, canned chicken or canned tuna, low-fat cottage cheese, low-fat milk, and of course, you can bring along your protein powder with you. Next, we're gonna shop for our carbohydrates. So fruits are an easy one to bring to your hotel room. Things like bananas, apples, oranges, whichever fruits you prefer. You can also buy frozen bags of microwave veggies or steamed rice and veggies that you can then just throw in the microwave, pop in a bowl, mix in with your chicken, and you're good to go. Potatoes are another easy one where you can just take them back to your hotel room, wash them, poke a few holes so they don't explode, and pop them in the microwave. Almost any grocery store, you can also find individual little containers of microwavable rice, and you can buy packets of microwavable oatmeal. Just make sure, even if you use the flavored kind, which is fine, you're trying to avoid the oatmeal that's loaded with sugar and keep it mostly to oats and natural flavors. If sandwiches are your thing, you can also pick up a loaf of bread. Now, I know a lot of people are all weird about bread, but really, as long as you're not deep into a competition diet and you have no issue with gluten, Bread is absolutely a fine and healthy source of carbohydrates to include in your nutrition plan and super convenient and easy to store. 
As far as fats go, I recommend keeping most of that just from the sources of food that you're eating while you're traveling, such as the eggs if you're doing the hard boiled eggs, or the fats that are included in meats or any restaurant meals that you may eat while on the road. Since fats are very calorically dense, they do tend to add up, and if you are having any restaurant meals or desserts out to eat, there's oftentimes a lot of fat in there, so you don't need to add much more in a planned part of your diet. However, if you are planning on eating really strict and not going out to eat, you can pick up some nuts, like a, a container of mixed nuts on the road. From there, you would just divvy up your food among those three meals and two snacks. For example, breakfast might be a couple packets of the oatmeal or some toast, and then a couple hard boiled eggs. For a snack, you might have a protein shake and a banana with some peanut butter. Then for lunch, you might have some rotisserie chicken with a couple of the pre-steamable cups of rice and some veggies. Another snack, you might have a bag of beef jerky and an apple. And then for dinner, you could go out to eat at a restaurant. If you are trying to stay strict on your meal plan and not bulking, then follow this rule of thumb with restaurant eating. Pick a lean meat or fish entree as your main course, Potatoes are usually your best carbohydrate source if you are going with higher carbohydrates because the butter and sour cream you can bring on the side. Now, if you're not like me, who feels weird asking for things to be prepared for him, even though I'm paying for it, so I don't know why I do, you can also ask for things like the rice to be prepared without butter or oil on the side if you prefer that. If you're really going for clean eating and lower carbohydrates, then I would stick with the lean protein and fish get some veggies on the side without oil, and then a dish of fresh fruit, and that's it. Now, if you're bulking or trying to put on size, obviously you can have a little bit more fun. Just make sure you're getting some source of protein and then enjoy the rest as a treat meal. If you do want some help in putting together the perfect plan for you and your goals while you're traveling on the road, make sure you hit me up and I would be happy to help you do that. And that wraps up today's video, so I hope you enjoy the rest of your grow day, recover, and get ready for the gym tomorrow. I will see you then.